Hello everyone, this is Highlander from MTG Cardsmith doing another custom Magic the Gathering card review. And I've got my special guest with me, Island Snake. Still here, let's do it. Okay. And here we've got Santa Claus. Yeah. Cat Santa Claus. Um Santa Claus with a W. C L A W S. So this is a card by TGBC for his set Coronella. And let's see what we got here. We got a present giving Neko. So it literally is Santa Claus. Um, Cat Santa. So this is a two red and a white for a human that reindeer cat. Yeah, it's like a wooden reindeer. It's like a wooden yeah. fake reindeer. Uh, okay, so it's, we got a four mana three four. When present giving Neko enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter onto each creature you control. Okay, that's good. Uh, if five or more plus one plus one counters are distributed this way, add green, 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 green to your mana pool. All right, so... Did you just tell me Merry Christmas? How do you know what Christmas is? Well, I was just about to say, like the it kind of calls itself out here where is this like a joke card for this setting because do they have do they have Christmas in the setting? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Uh yeah. I've learned that, uh, so I don't actually know how to pronounce this, Lenny or Lenny A, I'm not actually sure. But um, I've learned that this is this is a character who represents the designer of these cards. So it's oh, like, okay. It's like, he's like the main character. Um, okay, so this you, card... You just add, man the mana pool goes away, right? Well, it does, but, it, but not until your phase ends. So, like, you cast, you play... You play this on your main phase, and then you get this mana, and then you can still use it before you go to, before you go past your main phase into combat, essentially. Okay, so I like this card. I, I actually do. I think this card is is uh, a, I think this is a good card. I think it's a well designed card. I think there are a couple issues with this card though that I will point out now. So. Given what you should make we make a video so you can point them out. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. so you should make a video and point them out. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll do that right now. Making the video. So, um, okay. So here, here's my issues with this card. Adding green here doesn't make a lot of sense for a red white card. Why is this card not red green? It's a, it's a, it's a Christmas card. Red green is Christmas colors. Come on. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. I think this should be a red green card. That way, adding green isn't weird. That way, it's Christmas colors, right? And it still works with plus one, plus one counters. Um, and adding mana to your mana pool is it like a like this is like a red thing. So I think it'll it'll work out. Uh, I th I think that if this card were red green, it would almost be perfect. The only other issue I have is generally cards like this. Instead of putting a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control, it'll put a plus one plus one counter on each other creature you control. Um, just so that when you're, it's a little bit smoother when you're like looking at evaluating the card itself. It's, it's really not the end of the world, right? Like you, you, right now you play this and it becomes a four or five, um, but you could also just straight up make this a four or five and make this put a plus one counter plus one plus one counter on each other creature you control and that way it just it just it's just a little bit easier when you're evaluating the card essentially um it's a minor point but um it seems pretty strong for its cause it's it's a strong card uh but it's a rare i i, I honestly think this card's pretty balanced um fair enough getting five or more plus one plus one counters i mean if you've got five creatures out and you're putting plus one plus one counters on them you're probably winning the game anyway so like the extra mana is not really going to be doing that much uh but it, it's fine like it it it, it you know it, it's it's a fine it's it's a fine thing to do um so yeah i mean i don't really have too much more to say i mean there uh there's a there's a there's a small formatting issue here this should just say on instead of on to um I completely agree. But, Drop the white mana. Get it out of here. Yeah, make this make this red green. I mean, come on. Yeah. 
I, I, this, this should be a wet green card. Other than that, I think this is a great card. I really do. Um, it's probably my favorite card I've seen. Uh, I mean, it's. I don't get why Santa Claus is a cat girl, but that's anime for you, you know? So. Uh, <laughs> so true. So, yeah, um, I guess I would give this card a 7 out of 10. What do you give it? Um, yeah, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 as well. I, I want to say that, like, it's my favorite card, but it's, it's 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 tied with the other one I gave 7 out of 10, which I think was the, the Frost Dragon or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, it's it's just well done. I think it I think it's strong, but I guess it's a rare, so it's allowed to be strong. Yeah, um, pay to win system, right? That's what you always exactly. say. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So yeah. sem simple, seven simple, easy, and I I think it's just a good card. Yeah. See, keep keep it simple, man. Simple is 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 beautiful. Um, okay, that's our review of present giving. Neko. I'll see you guys next time.